but this is the first time that we're hearing about Patricia Garcia. Yes, according to the indictment, she is the Harding Street neighbor whose 911 calls led police officers to the home to begin with. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers continues our live team coverage from that Southeast Houston neighborhood right now. Brittany? Yeah, we've been learning a lot more about this woman who lives here in this neighborhood. Going through that federal indictment, it alleges that Patricia Garcia made multiple calls to 911 claiming that there were drugs and guns, that her daughter was inside of this home. Uh, we do know that she was arrested earlier this morning at the house right across the street from it. I did speak with the homeowner's son, though, and he tells me that they do not want to be associated with her. On January 8th, this dispatch audio describes a 911 call that Houston police say set in motion a spiral of events. The daughter is at the location. She possibly thinks there's drugs, guns inside the residence. Uh, she wants to remain anonymous. That alleged caller no longer anonymous. This morning, federal agents arrested 53-year-old Patricia Garcia. The indictment alleges that Garcia gave false and misleading information in multiple 911 calls, claiming that her daughter was inside of the home and the residents were addicts, drug dealers, and had machine guns. This morning, Garcia was arrested at the house directly across the street from the deadly raid that left Regina Nicholas and Dennis Tuttle dead. But Tommy Arce says, she doesn't live here. I don't want us to be uh, associated with Pat at all because this is the anti-residence. RC says Garcia has dated his father for a year and stays here occasionally but lives several houses down. He says he was shocked to learn of her arrest because his family was close friends with Regina and Dennis. We looked into Garcia's criminal record which shows previous arrests for theft, driving with a suspended license and possession of a controlled substance. Now, Garcia could face up to five years in prison if convicted. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.